let me ask you a question. Have you ever wanted to attract a lot more abundance, success, and opportunity to yourself? And if the answer is yes, and I'm sure the answer is yes for everybody, we have here an expert, a best-selling author, Maria Matias. And today, she will share with you how you too can declutter your home so you can attract success, abundance, better relationships, better business opportunities, and just opportunities in general for absolutely anything you desire. Okay, well, Maria, tell us about yourself and how we can do that. Okay, well, thank you so much, Lily, for having me here with you. It's such a great opportunity. And this is an attraction that I attracted myself by doing feng shui. So I am a diamond feng shui consultant and dowser um, through, I studied under Marie Diamond. And it is just amazing how feng shui can actually change your life. For me, I went on this journey and it has brought so much opportunities to my personal life, to my business, and other people who I have helped open up the, the doors with through feng shui. Feng shui is an art. It's a beautiful art that we can practice. And we don't even know like how this energy works, right? It's a beautiful art of placement of items where they go so that we can bring that harmony into our home, bring in success. Even if you're already successful, but you really want to up-level your business to another level, bring in more abundance, bring in more joy through feng shui, we can do that. So, and by doing that is that we start with decluttering because when we have clutter, it actually blocks the energy from flowing. So decluttering, we clean up areas, well, our, our, our space, right? As we also clean up inside, we clean up on the outside so that we can attract this amazing um, opportunities, like you said, abundance, prosperity into our own homes, into our business. So that's why I absolutely love feng shui and wanting to impact more um, with it because I see the beauty that it has. Thank you so much for that. That's a very interesting introduction. Now, what I'm curious about is, um, you know, there are uh, people OK, and sometimes they feel like they have these like limiting beliefs and they have these blocks and they have unappreciative people and they have these, you know, spiky, not nice people and scammers. And, you know, there are people that attract the sort of people all of the time. OK, and they may work really hard. OK, they may work really hard and still they attract these kind of people and then they feel like, oh, my God, I'm depressed. I just cannot handle this life, okay? And it just um, enables them to kind of like go to, you know, they start, start spiraling down on this, you know, on this spiral where it's really hard to find your way out. So how do we kind of get out of that and feel, you know, this abundance and opportunities and success and how do we do it with decluttering? So by removing, because in feng shui, we all have personal energy numbers, which are called kua numbers. So let's say in your relationship, you have an item there that is really doesn't support you in your um, relationships per se. What if it's a depressing item? What if it's like a sad picture that is up, like one with the umbrella? There's always like this um, beautiful image of romance, right? where they have the umbrella over and then there's rain coming down and it's a single person holding this umbrella. What if that is in your relationship direction? So guess what is that doing to you? It's pouring the water down. It's wearing you down. And if that's in your relationship, for example, then that will affect you. But little do we know like what it really means to what items we have in certain directions, how they can affect us. That's why um, feng shui is so powerful because it is very personalized. That's very interesting. And I think that, you know, as a speaker, as an author, we're kind of in a way always marketing ourselves. We're always like trying to get more opportunities by speaking, by becoming an author, by, you know, appearing in the media. But what we definitely do not want is to attract the wrong people to us. 
and we don't want to attract, you know, the wrong opportunities for us. And we don't want to attract, you know, the scammers and the people that will take advantage of us. And somehow, um, you know, some people work really hard and they still only get that. And would you say this is because, uh, let's say, if your house is disorganized, does that kind of have an impact in terms of the kind of opportunities you do attract or don't? It definitely does because... Let's say we like why we're just saying we want this amazing stuff to flow to us, but what are we really telling the universe? If you're cluttered here, how is the universe gonna bring this abundance that we want? So decluttering makes a huge difference. And I can tell you that for like I said, from my own personal experience, my life totally changed after Feng Shui. I opened up my second dental hygiene clinic because I opened up space, because I decluttered because I placed items where they need to go. So it does, definitely. So what happens, let's say, if, um, let's say you have a party and then you leave a mess for a few days and then you come home and then you leave your clothes in, you know, on the sofa instead of putting them in the right place. What happens? Well, then you're leaving it a mess, right? So there's no, you're blocking. Whenever you leave stuff out, you're de- leaving that, uh, it, it's stagnant energy. There's no movement to it. Energy is always moving. So we always want to have this clear space so that that abundance is continuously flowing. So like one of the things I always tell people is put your stuff away when you're at the end of your day at your desk. Just leave it as a clean space so then you're ready for the next day. And that abundance is continually flowing and opportunities So how else can we create this flow so we can attract the right people and not the wrong people to us? So the first thing, I one of the first things you want to do is declutter the front door because the front door is the opening to um, to the abundance for the energy comes in. Your front, it all starts with the front door. It's all the front door. You have the energy coming in the front door. Then you personalize certain directions. So I definitely like do not put like a mat because there's welcome mats that have little holes in them. So when the energy is coming into your home, what we call the chi, then if you have the holy, not the holy, but holes in the mat, that energy then is going back out. It's going into the hole. So you want like a solid mat in front of the house. And that also, of course, based on directions, it's all feng shui, but always a solid mat so that you don't lose that energy. And then when you open up your door, make sure there's nothing there. Like there's no shoes just hanging out, jackets thrown around. If there's like um, stairs, sometimes people just hang their jackets on on the stairs or their hats. That's not really showing the universe the abundance, right? We're showing clutter and we want abundance. We want opportunities. We want great relationships. Then we need to start showing the universe that that is what we want. So keeping a clear entrance for that energy to come in. That sounds really, uh, really interesting. And how about uh, people that are already like experiencing, you know, like, negative people in their life and, uh, you know, scammers and unappreciative people, what should those people do, for example, to attract more opportunities? Then in their, when it's personalized in their relationship corner, you want to add people who already have an experience of an abundance of great relationship, like-minded people, you put images there in that direction based on, so that's why it's very personalized. There is general feng shui, of course, you can put where we put items in, but when you personalize it to your kua number, your personal energy number, it is amazing. You start attracting those like-minded people in, but we place the image there. Okay, very good. So would you say that if the house is perfectly organized, that's it, we're all set? Or do we have to have certain images in particular areas to make this work better for us? So we, so one of the things that we do that goes along with feng shui that is very powerful is we douse. You can have amazing feng shui, set it up nicely, all of the above, but there are what we call ley lines, they're geopathic stress lines, which is how like the water energy flows under the ground. So we find those stress areas and we help um, 
cure them, meaning we put stuff there so that way that energy does not come in. And then you up level it then with your feng shui. So dowsing goes with feng shui because not only are you feng shui in your house, but also the underground. So we need okay. that water flow. Okay. That's in, it goes like together. Okay, interesting. And then if you do this dowsing, what happens? So what we do, like I was saying, um, we put cures there. So we douse, we have certain um, tools that we use. We ask questions and um, of course we have to be in meditation and be in the flow of energy. And we use these um, dowsing rods to help us find the, let's say for example, geopathic stress. If this energy is coming in and then you find where it is, then you we place copper rods in that direction to cure them up, we put the intention in it and we place it. And then you check again to make sure that you put it in the right place, that it's working, you activate it, then it stops that energy from coming in. It is so powerful. It is so powerful. And it changes people's lives. It what changes. If uh, That's really, really interesting. And what about for speakers, let's say, who want to get a lot more speaking opportunities or for authors that want to get a lot more, I don't know, opportunities to speak as well? Um, is there something we need to do in terms of positioning things in the right direction? Yes, absolutely. For their speaking engagement, let's say, for example, let's say they want to come and do a publishing with you or Marie Diamond. Put a picture of you and Marie Diamond in their relationship direction because they want to create that relationship and in their success direction, because it is a success that they are creating for themselves. Again, it goes in their personal direction, um, that item. And what about, let's say for people uh, who are speakers and authors and they just want to make more money, um, is there a possibility to kind of like attract more money um, through positioning certain things in the house? Yes. So you can actually put, let's say in your success direction, gold is, um, it's an abundance color. So always surround yourself with gold, put golden item, put a golden item on your desk, put a golden um, item in your success direction, put pictures of people who have been successful in what you want, because then you're bringing their energy in that in, into your success. So you can help up level it that way. Ah, okay. That sounds really, really interesting. Now, for those people that want to book you for an appointment, uh, where should they go? So I have my um, website. It's mariamatiasfengshui.com. And then, of course, I have my Facebook, Maria Matias Official, social media. And then I have my Instagram, Maria Matias underscore 88. And that's where they can find me. Okay. And you can do Zoom consultations as well, right? Yes, I do Zoom consultations in person. And yeah, it's just a great, powerful thing that we can all do. And I hope to help so many more out there as I saw the, the big difference in my own life. Okay. And why? Uh, what would you say attracted you to this particular um, field of you know learning more about this? What got you interested in it? Well, I had been studying it like for, gosh, probably 20 years. I actually had someone go into my home. I thought, oh, wow, this is really cool. But I really didn't understand the concept of it then. And I was like, and I always told my husband, I said, babe, I really want to learn this. Like I just, but I hadn't found the right person to study with, the school to study with. And then I came across Marie Diamond and that changed my whole world. And her um, program was very unique and very specialized, I feel, and that it was so easy for me to grasp, whereas before it wasn't that easy for me. Then again, it's, it's a passion that grows, right? Then you learn that that is your purpose. It's about learning really then who you are, and then you learn all of this energy. And I've always been into it. So Marie made it so much easier for me to, to learn and practice it. And what would you say you managed to manifest through the methods that you applied learning, you know, feng shui for your own family and relationships and business? Well, one of the um, the biggest thing, well, there's just so much that um, that manifested, but it was my during the pandemic, 
I actually manifested a brand new Range Rover. And I was like, oh, I had it on my vision board. Of course, that's another thing that we do is we do our vision boards. And once you do this, then you start watching the signs. It's like you're playing a game with the universe, with God. Really, it's our higher self. You start seeing the signs show up. And um, I had that on my vision board. And then when I had told my husband, it was actually on our anniversary. And he said, well, we should go look at the, the cars that you've been wanting. I was like, what? During a pandemic, you really want me to, you know, um, get a car now? And he's like, well, let's go, at least let's go check it out. I was like, okay. So then I called, it was early and I scheduled an appointment and I asked the gentleman and they said, well, we don't have, because I wanted the blue. And the reason for the blue, it's a success color, right? So then I, so we went and it was a small one that I wanted to go look at. And then of course they didn't have it. The gentleman says, well, you can come and test drive one, but we don't have the blue that you want. And I said, okay, well, I'll at least go test drive it. Why not? And I did. So then when we show up in the, in the display, right? There's this beautiful blue Range Rover parked right there. And I, and I told my husband, I said, babe, I said, there's my car. And then, <laughs> And then, of course, I looked at the price and I was like, oh, geez, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then wow. so then we went and test drove the little one. And I was like, no, this is. And then we went and looked at the one that was there again. And then the gentleman says, well, this just came out like before you, you showed up, he said. This just got washed. And you can see the water was still dripping on it. And of course, I was like, oh, my gosh, like that's that's an expensive car, right? And then my husband was like, you know, we were looking around. Then guess what was on the on, on the floor? A compass. There was this compass, and that's why we work with feng shui, is a compass. And this Range Rover was parked in the south, right? In the south direction on the compass. And that year in feng shui, that was where the abundance is coming in. And my husband was like, look on the floor. That's how I was like, oh my gosh. And I wasn't, honestly, I wasn't going to buy it. But then when I saw the sign, I was like, okay. Well, then I ended up with my Range Rover Sport. And that was one of the, the manifestations that I did besides my business and other things that have showed up in my life. Okay, perfect. Well, for those of you watching that want to manifest more opportunities, all you have to do is contact Maria Matias at mariamatiasfengshui.com. Am I right, Maria? Yes. yes, perfect. Yes. Or the other websites she mentioned earlier. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Thank you, Lily. Thank you, everyone.